Hey everyone, uh, Morgan here, and husband and kid rogue. It's almost her bedtime, so she's kind of crazy crazy right now, right? <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to do today was to make some homemade DIY oil candles. I call them candles, but they're oil lamps. When I think of a lamp, I think of like uh, something that has something over top of the flame so that it kind of emits a little bit more light, you know, like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a lantern kind of thing. That's what I think of when I think of lamp, but this will be uh, oil. So, you know, if you have um, oil or, you know, alcohol, I'm going to try both. This is just a can, just a regular old can. And then this is a mason jar with um, a hole cut in the top. Um, these are wicks that I have bought like a long time ago. It came in a pack of three. So I'm gonna use them both. And um, you can use just like cut up uh, shirts though, cotton shirts if you want. Yeah, you don't have to use actual wicks, but you know, cut up, cut up and rolled up uh, cotton shirts will work just as good. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna put the alcohol in the mason jar. And then we're gonna start soaking the wick. That whole wick's gotta get uh, soaked before <clears throat> we can light the top. You can actually see it yeah, starting to soak already. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty quick process. Now with this soda can lantern, there's a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna explain it here in just a second. Focus, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna put the wick in, and then I'm gonna kind of bunch this up So that I can actually push it through here, this hole. Oh, uh, so with the soda can, um, there were a couple of methods. Um, one of them was to like cut it like a little door. It was to like cut here and then have little flaps open. And then I actually put a candle inside and it kind of like emitted a little bit of light, reflected some light off of the inside of the can, which was pretty cool. And then uh, there was another one where I saw that they cut it and then they put like a cotton ball in there and then they would put, uh, you know, cotton ball soaked in oil and then they put some aluminum foil and they pulled the cotton through the aluminum foil, it was a little hole, and then they lit it like that for like a little oil lamp. So there's lots of different things you can do with cans. All right, so they're both soaked. Really, it doesn't take long, it took a couple minutes. I turned off the light for some ambience. Okay, so this is the oil. There we go. Light pretty good. There we go. Whoa, that one lit up. <laughs> Look at that one. That is no joke. That is a huge flame. <laughs> this olive oil one is actually. Uh, pretty difficult to light up. I was um, reading that anything, any kind of oil would work, but it's more kind of just burning it than than anything. But this alcohol one, of course, is a, a flame machine. So husband just trimmed the wick a little and um, he thinks it's brighter. I, I think it's a little bit brighter. I don't know. I'm going to have to look back at the tape. I, I don't know. I think, it's just, uh, I think it's just a flame. But I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm really happy with the alcohol. I really like this whole setup in general. I think, you know, I mean, look at this. It's light in my hand. You know, it's, you know, I mean, of course we have some other lights on. <laughs> but, you know, you can obviously tell that this is candle light. Um, oh, nice little light. I like it. I think it's a good solid light. Okay, so we made some adjustments on um, this olive oil can oil lamp. And instead of pushing the wick through the hole, because I thought maybe because it was twisted or something that it maybe just wasn't lighting right. I don't know. So now the wick is a full wick. 
and um, it did light and it is lit and lighting now as you can see but also as you can see it's burning really fast and what we're having to do see it's already extinguishing itself as it gets down to the I don't know what this is called um, and what we're having to do is take something to lift the wick up so the wick is uh, being used very quickly with the alcohol one you know it was still just burning without <laughs> charring and burning burning like this as you can see so I just pulled it up some more and it's it lit right back up again but it's going to burn right back down, you know, within a minute or two. I'm having to constantly pull that wick up, which, as far as I know, you're not supposed to do. And with the alcohol one, we weren't doing that at all. It's just burning so quickly. So I'm not sure that olive oil um, is just going to be the best choice. I still think that alcohol is um, going to be the best choice here. Everything online in books they say that olive oil is supposed to work the best. And just any cooking oil, any kind of, you know, vegetable oil, olive oil, cooking oil. <laughs> that was kid room. Um, it should work. Good old alcohol works. Um, anyway, yeah. If you guys have ever made your own uh, little oil lamps at home, let me know in the comments down below and what kind of... Um, oil stuff did you use, um, liquid rather, did you use to get it going? You wanna to try to blow it out? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Good job, look at you. Usually with, uh, with wick candles, you don't wanna blow them out because it burns the wick. It's a good idea to suffocate them. Uh, it saves the wick uh, for future use. Yeah. Now we just put it out. It burned out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow bye. by preparing today. <laughs> yes. Say bye. Bye bye.